Strasburg, Ohio, home of Eldora Speedway. We're gonna do some hot rod racing today. Are well, you, you that famous YouTuber, Cobble Road? Kids. I mean, Toll Booth? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, something like that. They're everywhere, I tell you what. Anyways, hey, where'd you go, kid? Buckle up, kid. Buckle up, kid, you're about to take a ride on the toll road. And this is the 70th season. They've been racing here on the dirt. Track was started in 1954 by Earl Baltez. Here at Eldora Speedway with, of course, Road Trip Rich, the king of all racing and pretty much king of dirt himself. But, you got anything to say, by the way? What's that? You have anything to say? No, not yet. Good. But look who we ran into here. Off the beaten path. This is Brandon from Off the Beaten Path. This kid, he knows somebody. He got his pit passes. We're going to go down and check out some hot rod action from down below. Buck up again. I'm not kidding this time. <laughs> Rev up your engines. Rich, do some rev in there. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think he might have missed a gear or two there, buddy. <laughs> you might want to go to the transmission shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, heck, these aren't any kind of fancy racers. These are just regular cars. Come on, it looks safe. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm following these two. Uh, you're not really the group I want to be with in the love tunnel. No funny business while we're down here, Rich. Just like that. I'll be danged if I let these guys walk up steps faster than me. On the inside. A little bit of rain earlier today, so we got some pickup trucks doing some circles, bringing some of that moisture up the track. Maybe a little, little Robin's racing, Rich. Yeah. Let's get up and listen to some engines. Everybody's already tired of hearing my voice. I love it, Rich. I can't even hear your mouth. Oh yeah, that beast is roaring. Best Buy. Today's event is the Baltes Classic and it's two separate events, the Modifieds and also the Super Stock Division. Events named in the honor of the founder of the track. I got a question for you, Rich. What do you say we both grab a vehicle here? Get it out. Duke it out. A couple hot laps. What do you think? I'm, I'm dead. Brandon, we're thinking about jumping in one of these vehicles. All three of us grab one. We'll settle this right here on the dirt. Absolutely. I like my chances. I think I think your license is suspended. No, it's not suspended. <laughs> His license is suspended. We've never seen him drive. Have you ever seen Rich drive? Oh yeah, unfortunately. Uh, my apologies, apparently you do have a driver's license. Rich, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Yeah, I got my car in. Did you sponsor a vehicle? Yes, this is real dirt here. I was here years ago. You sit here on the third turn. You might want to have some goggles or at least some glasses on because you'll get some dirt in your eye. A little mud in your eye.
Ridge here. Good news. Rich bought himself a 50-50 ticket. He says he's going to split it three ways with this one he wins. Thanks, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> Get it on video. What are you laughing at? <laughs> You're on video, buddy. You agreed. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I never said that. Normal thing. If you guys chipped in on it. Oh, I will if you win. A little snack at pre-race. Gatorade, popcorn, cheeseburger, 10 bucks. Ah, not bad. The big bite. And you'll get a lot of hot laps and prelims before they get to the main event, a 30 lap race. Gotta weed out the trash though. See who's got some speed today. See who's not gonna get in the way. Separate the men from the boys. Now, before we go back down to pit row and check out the racing down there, gonna take a little bit on the first turn here. See some of the action. Got a cool giant jumbo board on the side. Oh man, racers, make sure you have your AAA card with you. Something you don't see too often: fried bologna sandwich, vendor truck. We're racing here at Outdoor is on a half mile dirt track, kind of like a dirt clay, almost like you'd see in a horse racing track. When he first opened it, it was a quarter mile track, if you can imagine that. Went up to a three eighths of a mile, I believe, for the current configuration. All right, back down below. Let's check some racing from the inside. In 2004, Baltes sold the track to NASCAR legend Tony Stewart, who still owns and operates the track to this day. Oh, road. 